Anything in uh, particular? I mean, did you have anything you wanted to? Well, I noticed that when Andrew said what he was looking for in, his, in a wife was a good mom and someone who's going to obey, that that got quite a reaction from the panel. So I don't know if any of the girls want to ask about that because they seemed like they thought that was a bad, naughty word, the obey word. I, I mean, I'm not looking for a dictator. Like, I don't want someone who's going to tell me what to do and I got to follow it, like, with my tail between my legs, you know? But... I think Obey was too strong to say. I would say someone who's just submissive. Like, I still want my opinion and my voice to be heard in the relationship, but I would do what my man tells me to do for the most part. Okay, so so how is that? Okay, we got to figure out where the line is. When you say submissive, but you're like, well, I'll submit when I'm in the mood. Like, how is that submission? Well, because it's kind of like... Well, yeah, you're right then, because I'm not fully submissive then, I would say. Like, if my man tells me, like, come here, or do this, or do that, I'll do that. But if it's going against my own personal, like, beliefs and thoughts, like, I'm not going to do it. Like, I'm just Well, here's, here's where this comes into play. It's not like, so I don't know if people think that Andrew's just telling me, like, uh, you know, stand up, sit down, <laughs> put, eat this much, don't eat that. He's not doing that, but it's like... So if there comes a point where we disagree on something, like let's say we need to buy a new house, uh, Andrew gets a job offer somewhere and he's like, okay, I got a job offer, but part of that is we got to move to Mexico, right? Um, and I don't really want to move to Mexico. What do you think as a married couple, what do you think the right move is there? Well, if he's a financial provider for the family, then I feel like the right move is for you to go with him and figure it out. But what, but what if I don't want to? Yeah, I just... Well, then that's on you. That's your... Well, what to... would you do? What would you do if your husband's like, listen, I'm taking this job, we're moving to Mexico, and you're like, but I want to be close to my mom, and I like my friends here, and I don't want to go to Mexico. I want to stay here. Like, No, I'm like, let's go. Like, I'll call my mom. I'll talk to her on the phone. That's okay. Like, I did, I did it already. I got married. But what if it's team. what if it's somewhere you really don't want to go? Okay, what if it's like Pakistan? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> Pakistan's insane. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Honestly, um, I think I would kind of like visit first to see if this is the right fit for me as well, and see if we can do the long, the long distance thing. But you know, I'm all about like family too. So like my husband is my family member now. So, and I, like, priorities within that household, not my mom and sisters and stuff like that. So, honestly, if I have to move to Pakistan, I will. But I would just go back home a lot. Or vice versa. I'll stay home and visit him a lot. I don't know. Okay, what if your husband gives you a spending limit? Like, what if he says, look, babe, we have financial goals, and you can only spend this much per month on, you know, uh, your personal spending. And you're like, well, I can't get my hair done, my nails done, all, my makeup that I like to buy. I, you know, I, that's not enough. I need like double that. Like, what if you guys have an issue about finances like that? Are you going to submit to what he says there or no? No, he's going to have to let me work. Mm -hmm. Oh, so then why? Let me just ask then if that's if that's the way it works, if that's the deal for the man. Why would he want to marry you? Well, he ain't got to. I'm, I'm, well, right, know. but what I'm, what I'm saying <laughs> is, like, why would a man want to have children and, and make a lifelong commitment to somebody who's like, well, I'm going to do what I want, though? Well, I don't think... I just feel like, choose your partner wisely. Like, we all come with our own flaws. So it's like, if you don't like that, I like to get my hair done and my nails done, and I think it's a priority for me to look good, which is what attracted you, I just feel like... Well, then, I, I don't know. I just literally forgot my whole point, but. <laughs> so I let's feel like married. You're married. You have two kids with your husband, and he gets in an accident at work. And, you know, now you do have to work, and all he gets is, like, disability pay, and your budget, like, your, your income is half what it used to be. So now you truly can't afford to get your hair done, get your nails done, get the, like, brand name makeup. You got to just, like, you, you still have a roof over your head. You still have food. You still have heat. You know, the basics are there, but you don't get any of the luxuries anymore. Are you going to, like, stick it out with him, or are you out at that point? No, I'm holding it down. Like, honestly, like, I'm really self-sufficient. So, luckily for me, if we're talking about me personally, I know how to do my own hair. I know how to do my own makeup. I do... Forrest Gump donated $200. 
Chair number one, I'm not as thought as you drunk I am, officer. What? What? <laughs> Who's chair number well, one? Well, I guess I'm just, I'm asking, like, why is, why is it two different answers that you gave me? Like, if you're willing to go without stuff if things go wrong, why would you not be willing to go without stuff if your husband says, we have financial goals, you know, for now, we got to pare down the budget? Why are you instantly like, well, I'm going to go to work? What if he doesn't want to put his kids in a daycare? What if he's like, I don't want my kids raised in a daycare. I want my, my wife to raise my kids. You're going to prioritize hair? No, I just, it's not that I would prioritize here. I just kind of feel like if that's our goals for our family and I'm so capable to work, yeah, you want me to stay home and take care of the children. I don't know. It's kind of like I would do it and I wouldn't at the same time. It's just like I want what I want. If I can't have it at that moment because I know there's a bigger goal in mind, then I'll for sure sacrifice that. But if I don't have to, I'm not going to. Like, you kind of get what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, I think it's like, like you might lose some battles to win the war. Yeah. But like you love this person, you can kind of see the vision long term. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. But if the man, if you guys expect a provider, why would a provider have to like, why would you have to agree to everything he decides? If he says, this is what the finances are, I'm the provider, you've got everything you need and most of what you want, but look, I'm gonna say no to some things. What makes you feel like you have like this, well, I should still be able to just have whatever I want. Like, I'm asking, how can you ask for both? How can you say provide for me, but also I'm gonna make the decisions, I'm gonna do what I want, I'm gonna be willful, and it's all about me and what I want. And if you say, this is how I want things to be, if I agree, I'll go along. But if I disagree, I'm just going to do what I want anyway. Like, who? like you would never sign up for that. Like, you would never marry somebody or, like, sign up for a job where somebody was going to be like that to you. If you were the boss and you're interviewing an employee and they're like, well, I'll listen to you when I agree. But when I don't agree with you, I'm just going to do what I want. You would not hire that person as an you employee. Say that? No, honestly, I right? feel like that's one of so. the biggest issues I have in relationships is that because that's how I am. It's kind of like you tell me and I'm like, okay, I'm cool with that. And the minute I'm not cool with something, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. So that's kind of right. like one of the no. biggest issues I do have in a relationship, which is you're kind of like. Also, you're not that. an employee. Yeah. yeah. Well, but if. I think not everyone is like that. Talking, that's like double you're standard. Being a submissive wife, then yes, you are. Wait, to be I... submissive is to be subordinate. It means that you are not in charge. It means that there is somebody above you who has authority over you. And this is my little old lady wisdom for you girls. I remember the specific moment when I was very young in my early 20s and I realized this. Uh, if you want a man who is about business and he can handle his shit and he's a good leader and he's like competent, he's independent, he's like one of these top tier guys that you want that's like confident and knows what he's doing, that type of man is not going to put up with strong independent woman bullshit. He's not going to put up I with agree. me stepping on his dick all the time and going, well, but I think we should be doing it this way and I really don't agree with you. Like, if you want a guy who's going to put up with that, he's going to be a little bit of a softer beta kind of guy who's yeah. going to let you walk all over him. And you're probably not going to be attracted and you're probably not going to respect him. So you kind of have Whoa. to pick one. Like not if you want to know about the respect. That no, no, it's true. true. Because, no, you're not going to listen. Forrest Gump donated listen. $200. Chair number three, you are a 9.5. God bless the United Kingdom, and I hope we are not cousins. Long live Andrew and Rachel. I told you she's gorgeous. Well, that's very kind. I think, Thank I think you. people respect different things. So I actually did agree with, you know, most of that statement from Rachel, where you, it probably won't be a guy who is so demanding all the time. And my two exes were exactly like what you kind of described, like the confident alpha male, so many successful businesses, everyone wants to be him, you know, the guys are like, you know, trying to be his mentee and whatever, and then, um, you know, I actually didn't really respect how he would kind of project that into our relationship and be controlling me. By the way, I didn't say that um, I am extreme, I didn't say that I want to be submissive in a relationship because of this these two experiences, I realized that actually I respect someone who cares about what I think. 
But a confident it, man guys, cares about what you think. Do you think Andrew just doesn't care about what I think? I mean... I've definitely suspected that, but I feel like it might be a persona, so... No, it's... Uh, I... Went, like, I don't... I, I mean, because seriously, I don't think you guys would be together if he didn't actually care. But I do... I will say sometimes online it comes off that way. I well, that's that. because sometimes it is that way. There are times where if... I see. If he knows something is important and stuff has to get done and there's like a deadline and he doesn't have time for a bunch of quabbling and like like so you're being unreasonable number... because what? that's the difference i don't like i would never do that actually because i'm very reasonable i used to be a tech founder too um i used to be the cpo and i just wouldn't do things that are not reasonable if there's a deadline if there's something urgent mm -hmm. i would do like basically just you know risk analysis or whatever basically like i'm just doing SWA analysis all the time when we're making decisions together we would discuss and then we would pick something that is reasonable together. And okay, sometimes for you financial. Realize that, uh -huh. You realize that over the course of a whole lifetime, yes. there will be times for every couple I agree. where they hit a point with something where they just don't agree. I agree. And so, so the question yes. is, what do you do then? I actually kind of answered this earlier. So for financial and home, um, I will go with my man's choice, basically his opinion if we're really at like an impasse. And then for mental, emotional health, physical health, lifestyle, um, it will be me actually. So we're, that's kind of how what we- What do you mean by lifestyle? Divided. If you were married, yeah. but what do you yeah. mean by lifestyle? Oh, I just mean lifestyle like, um, you know, how fit are we? What are we eating? What are we putting into our bodies? Like, are we getting walks? Because these really are things that when two people are so busy, just basically work on legs, someone has to Frank think about it. Frank the Tank donated you know? $200. I'd rather have 1,000 lives with Rachel and what Andrew and her have than be with you 304s. Girls versus the real woman. What's 304? It's, it's hell. Three or four, is they're calling us four. Oh. Well, the things you say that you would like to be in charge in are quite feminine things. So, yeah. you know, cooking yeah. and making sure your husband oh, like, goes for say, walks and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, you said about what cooking. food you eat. So, yeah, we, like, order, we, we order because I only cook as a hobby. Because yeah. I actually am, I actually really as a like. Hobby? Yeah. Um, wait, cooking as a hobby? Yeah. You, you yeah, we usually eat out. But like occasionally I do, like I did cook the other day as a hobby and like I love cooking for my mans when I'm not tired or stressed Even or you know, if you're worried about you're business. Cook, you're not, it's not I think problem. supposed to is not an option. because I never told, no, 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 listen, I never said at any point in the relationship of meeting this guy that I cook. All my exes know like, I, I'm not that I cook, I clean, but I still handle things like emotional, mental, physical health taking into consideration both people's long-term well-being. I want to tell you something. From the place I come from, a woman yeah. that don't know how to cook and not passionate about it, she's not considered a good catch because Yeah, cooking, I don't cook, I don't clean, cooking, but coming let me with tell you passion, how with like, good, I've been proposed to woman, twice by sex. quality. My last multi-millionaire, a lot of people's dream guy, you know, he proposed. I was the one who it's broke not, it off. It's a dream guy only to girls who come from nothing. For a girl oh, okay. no life, I she's not like dreaming on a bil billionaire because... A billionaire is going to have control over yes, you. Yes, control. Exactly. That's kids. why I actually respect well, someone who finish. respects my opinion. When you have kids with a billionaire, right? If he yeah, doesn't a lot of like you, do. you'll, be re you'll be replaceable. I agree. No matter what. I agree. And this is a choice, right? I think that kind of does go back to what Rachel was saying. Let's say that Rachel was talking about like the top 1%, these desirable men or whatever. But like you are still replaceable. But they it's don't only, really it's respect only, you it's only, that much. Listen, it's only desirable to people uh -huh. who come from nothing. People who know life and know mm -hmm. how the life of game and how life operates. Yeah, that's they're true. not looking for the the title, like a millionaire, I have this car, I have yeah. this job, a lawyer, da da da. That's true. I don't think they're my looking friend... for a real steady, mm -hmm. steady man that be grounded and protect them and love them. That's yes. the whole point. I think that's because millions you can make together. Basically, what I've been saying. Yes, I've basically been saying that. Look. If we ever have an impasse, that was the original question. This is how I would deal with the conflict resolution a woman, as a reasonable person. A woman can lead her man to be super successful and yeah. rich, and a woman can lead that her man me. to destruction. Okay, I'm not that's not by me. everything you take personally. I'm not talking about okay. you. I'm talking in general. Yeah, I'm saying some women uh -huh. literally can de take their man for a destruction, and a woman, if you're gonna have kids, you need to know how to cook, how to clean, how to work, how to improvise, I how see. to provide, yes. also in a way, because God forbid, in your men fall down. You the one they have to handle and do everything. You said no, I'm not cooking just for hobby. No, I'm. I know how to order takeout. But you well, need I'm, to be all uh, these ingredients. You know. Well, I'm hearing is you need to bring enough things to the table, right? I have 
question that maybe nobody's thought to ask yet to yes. Sheena. So yeah. Sheena, you seem to have a lot of wisdom to share. You seem to be really jump in there. You said you're 50, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you're just a, only a little bit older than me. You know, I'm 44. Um, you said you're still waiting for your king. So why is it, since you seem to have all this knowledge and you seem to understand how relationship dynamics work, you're willing to give advice, you have a lot of wisdom, why is it that you haven't found your king yet, do you think? I tell you, I know exactly why. First of all, I live in America, and sorry to say that, but majority of men that I'm surrounded with in Los Angeles are really sissy, gay mentality. Um, they're not masculine enough for me. If I, would, if I would meet a man that is a real all-American man, maybe been in the army or strong and opinionated and a good man, I would marry him yesterday. I just got out of a relationship of four years that we were almost engaged. So, oh, not the divorce. Unfortunately, no, no, I was married for oh. 10 years. Oh. Unfortunately, I tell you what, I'm not jumping into a relationship. For me, I'm not going to tolerate one night stands or just hookups. I need a guy to really commit to me. And because of how I look and I take care of myself, a lot of the guys, they get scared because they think another gold digger from Los Angeles. So when they get to know me, of course, they like me. But until I meet that guy that would understand my value and that I would be attracted to him emotionally, physically, it's really hard for me like it's it's so hard to and I'm not on dating apps by the way I don't want to be on dating apps because I want it to happen naturally I don't want to go with a guy that go with 20 girls and and start feeling stressed about dinner because he already took last week five or six girls to dinner I want to have a real real gentleman with values I'm praying and and you know want it to happen but i'm not approaching guys if a guy won't approach me i'm not gonna approach him so you're, I, so you're too hot and you're too awesome i don't think i'm too the, hot it's at not all what she said. it's not what i'm saying please don't twist my words joke. and don't twist my words because that's not what i said i said because okay. how i look i intimidate guys i didn't say i look good i think something about my look make them look obviously you don't know what i'm doing i i own a business of facial injections so I do it for 16 years, I do Botox fillers, I do all the Russian techniques of faces, right? So because I work on myself and I like to make myself look good, obviously because of the majority of what you have in America that do injections, you know, they're not gonna think that one woman like me that do injections to herself or whatever, she's gonna be a little bit different. But I do love old values. I, I come from Israel, you understand? Most of the women in Israel look like me. They love to take care of themselves. Even if they go to the army, they would never miss their Botox appointment, right? That's, that's just how I am with my mentality. Okay, so you can't find a man who's not a pussy. So have you thought of like going to the Midwest, to the yes. South? I actually moved to Texas. I just come back from Texas four months ago because I opened a business okay. there. The only problem, my son is 21 now. He's in LA. I don't have like close friends in Texas. I was, you know, I find myself six months in Texas all by myself, trying to go out alone, going to dinner alone. You know, hard for me to mingle. You know, I don't have like friends that I grew up with or that I hang out with. So I end up coming to LA and saying, my God, it's miserable. Like LA is difficult for me socially but when I go to Texas it's also miserable to me socially because I don't know anybody I try to go out with some clients you know I try it but I'm going actually to the general of the Marines invited me to a private mm -hmm. event so I'm waiting and excited yeah, and participating. I've just noticed a pattern I've just noticed a pattern that you really really like to talk and I do too I'm a talker mm -hmm. as well but you really like to talk and you really like to talk about yourself and hear yourself talk and I'm just wondering if you've considered that maybe those qualities might be <laughs> off-putting to the type of men that you want to attract a good point I'll tell you when I actually meet a man I don't talk at all they think what's wrong with you are you shy I only talk when I'm debating or when I'm doing something like that on yeah, the media god forbid she but, talks on a podcast where she was invited to talk yeah but no no I talk in a lot of podcasts but you know I don't know you don't know my history I was an actress for 20 years I did a lot of TV and comedy I was doing stand-up comedy actually and I'm used to being on the spotlight I came to America and never tried to be an actress, never tried to be on the media. It happens when I you know, start to go and post videos of things of how I saw society. But to your question, well, well, wait, let me just finish. No, to your ahead. question, I wish, I wish I would meet a man. I miss so many opportunities because when I see an attractive guy, I just like close and embarrassed to talk to him because I don't know what to say. What am I gonna say? Hey, I like you. Like, if he's not going to approach me, what am I going to say? 
it's well, hard. Think, wait, this is a little off tangent, but I think when we went around and said like why our previous relationships ended, like I don't know if um, we got around to you. I can say, do you want to know? Yeah, I'm like right, genuinely Andrew curious. Stack, thanks for having me on. Oh nice to God. meet you all. Bye. 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 So my curious. previous relationship yeah. ended, you're not going to believe for something really stupid. Oh, really? I'm Moroccan, black, and Russian descent. Uh-huh. My ex-boyfriend, Tunisian descent, which is similar to Moroccan, Tunisian. but his Tunisian mother oh, Tunisian. didn't yes. like me because I'm Moroccan. It's competitive. Yes. And he was like a mama boy. I got it. So it was uh-huh. a big, you know, all the time. Oh, back and gosh. Forth. And I'm not going to argue with his mother because this is the first woman in his life. She loved him. And I kind of stepped back. If this is more important to him and he's not fighting for me, I'm not going to fight for a man if they doesn't fight for me. Yeah, mm-hmm. generally I avoid these kind of guys because my ex ex was a That's bit it. similar. It was really, it took me literally just three months ago to get out of it. I was so, it was oh such a heartbreak gosh. for me because I thought we we're going to be together forever. Uh, I'm so yeah. sorry. I've been no, there. No, it's okay. That's I'm life. Truly you know, sorry. have to yeah. deal with that. Yeah. But, uh, sure. yeah, like for me, it's so hard to meet men. Like I know all the girls mm-hmm. say, oh, I'm going on a date. Like why nobody invite me on a date? Maybe because my age. I don't know. I don't know. Nobody invite me on dates. Ever. Yeah, like maybe sometimes, no. but very rare. Yeah. Maybe it's intimidating. So. I don't know. But then if you're shy with guys, then maybe it's not intimidating. Maybe it's too shy. I don't know. No, but I honestly gonna, don't know. I don't think a woman should approach a man. It's more, I, I think for the long run, when you approach him, it's yeah. always catch you back, you know? But how long will you wait? If you're waiting on your king and you don't want to approach guys, like I'm genuinely curious, is there a timeline? Like, what's I tell the you thinking? what, I was planning to go to Israel four times because of the war. I didn't go <gasps> because I lost like 30 friends in October 7. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, if I'm going now and they shooting people on the streets, I'm not going to go. I already got injured twice. So I'm literally waiting for the war to Yeah, end. but hang on. We're going to we're going to move past the Israel talk here though. Sorry. Oh yeah, because TLS. No, what I'm trying TLS. to say is that I'm waiting for the war to end so I can go there and maybe find a oh. husband. <laughs> I think the there is I know a lot of people will sort of scoff at it when you say if you're attractive you get approached less by men, but I do think that is true. Um yeah. th- there is a, like a small amount of truth in that just in general, but I, I think that, you know, a lot of us have ideals about a man should always approach me and things like that. I think sometimes, you know, like what we were saying earlier, I want a woman who's a virgin, but if she was an amazing mother, this, that, that, and the other, that I would accept a woman who wasn't a virgin. I think us as women have to also have that flexibility of, oh, it would be ideal, but hmm, I haven't had a date in like, you know, six weeks. Maybe I do need to approach a few men and just like see how that goes. And like have like some flexibility with like your standards, or like be willing to change some things. Talking about yeah. me? Yeah, yeah or well, everyone in that? general. But uh, and I, but I also agree that you will f- have fewer men approach you when you're more attractive as well. I tell you what, I think I was married for ten years. It was really, mm-hmm. you know, to get out of a marriage and to become single again, especially when you're mm-hmm. a single mom. Mm-hmm. It's so difficult yeah. because mm-hmm. you know when I tried to date men when I was a single mom, like young single mom with a little kid, mm-hmm. I realized the majority of men what they want is just sex because mm-hmm. if you're a single mom, maybe you need help, maybe you need help with money. And when I realized that I kind of shut down and focused on raising my baby and I said if it's not a serious relationship and who's going to be in a serious relationship unless it's a man that already have kids himself yeah. and I also That's immigrated true. here I've been alone as an immigrant I had to learn you know what's so going real. on in America how to live here you know it, it, it was really mm-hmm. a long time for me but you know it is what it is it's in the hands of God yeah. <laughs> whatever needs to happen happen I'm not you know stressing it's so wholesome when it's just the girlies talking, the woman. <laughs> Why do you say it's so I said, it's so, pu- it's so peaceful mm. when it's just the woman yeah. talking. You mean boring? I wonder why. It's <laughs> not boring. Trust me. I'm I mean, not good for the brand, mm. but... Is it? Let me, let me yeah, actually yeah, see. Yeah. Out here. Yeah. Let me see. Well, you see the clips. Um, you see the people Can you like say, uh, say the word woman? Woman. Now say the word women. Women. Wait. Okay. Oh. Women. Women? Oh, women. women. Is I correct correct you. He's oh, correcting you. I've I didn't seen, even you know. know. I've actually, I've seen a clip where Andrew was correcting. I kept saying woman, 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 but it's, it doesn't come naturally to me. Sorry. I didn't grow up here, so I'm I don't actually trilingual. Yeah, Robert and Tanner, is not my first. Robert Tanner, thank you for the gifted 20 memberships. Really appreciate it. We have Pelagic here. 
What? And Wait, Tim- you have a Valley Girl accent. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I know, but you've been and I grew up in yes, English exactly. But so wait, Andrew, I want to so answer crazy? him. Wait, I want to answer him. We're gonna yeah. be here for. Fucking I could do. I could do whatever accent I like, dude. darling. <gasps> That's so really cool. I could do whatever accent I like. So I'm very good with accents. <laughs> That's very good. But sometimes I, only have one. I don't know the correct words. <laughs> So. Really I'm good. literally, I sit down within I a minute, I'm already interrupted. Really Ruby's tweets. Ruby, you said, still fascinates me how men will slut shame women, but still watch porn. Does that still... Yeah, so I think, is that tweet two years old? And? Um, I think it's, I definitely, I wouldn't tweet that now, because I just like wouldn't say that on my Twitter, but I think it is interesting that men will actively go out and speak about I hate women who do porn but will still consume porn I do think that is well, so if I think if I enjoy watching professional football do I have to play professional football no no but if you enjoy watching football but you're constantly tweeting oh, I, I hate footballers I hate footballers I do think mm, yeah, that's, that's yeah. interesting I, d- I actually don't game. because mm. look I, I personally I don't recommend porn consumption but I actually don't think there's anything wrong with a man who watches porn and maybe this isn't what you're trying to get at but a man who watches porn but also would not date a woman who's either promiscuous or involved in porn is that the point you're trying to make? No. She's no, not talking that's about That's not the dating. point. No. So the point, the point I made when I tweeted that was just as simple as people being nasty to women who do porn but still enjoying watching porn. So I think there's a, a very big difference between not agreeing with what someone does or being like, I wouldn't date a sex worker, and then being outright mm. publicly. I'm not sure if this really tracks so much. So, like, for example, you familiar with the musical artist R. Kelly? Oh, God. A bit, yeah. Yeah, so, so this man has been accused of... Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I believe he's not just been accused, but convicted of various I, yeah. sex, sex yeah. crimes, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, what's that? What's this st- fucking song? Uh, I Believe I Can Fly. Yeah. That's a fucking banger. You could still like the song and be like, damn, this guy's a terrible person. Yeah. But he's not. You wouldn't be saying he's a terrible person because he wrote that song. Mm, You'd be saying fair, he's a, a terrible person because yeah. of something else he did. So you could be like, "Wow, I love this porn star, but it's a shame she killed her husband. That's really terrible." <laughs> you know that. That's what you're saying. What I, what I'm saying is, it's. I think it's interesting how men will say, "I love this porn star, but she's fucking horrible slag." I think it's mm. it's a bit. Well, um, well, help me out here. If a person's Thank doing you, heroin. Robert. But they don't like heroin dealers. Isn't that the same exact concept here? Yeah, like, and porn is an addiction, so I, I think that is the same. Yeah. yeah, so if the idea here, you think that people who are on heroin shouldn't criticize heroin dealers? Well, <laughs> no, absolutely. Like, absolutely not. That's not what I'm saying. So when I tweeted that two years ago, it was when I was a lot more naive about the industry as well. So I was... Are you... Go- um, oh, my God, dude. Okay. Sorry, what's going on? I don't know what's going on fucking back here. You guys have been the most fucking dis- dis- disruptive fucking panel we've had in a really fucking long time. Holy shit. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so like I said earlier when I came on the show, um, I my views have changed on like, the sex work industry and stuff like that. And I do believe that, you know, had my circumstances been different, I wouldn't have gotten into that industry. And that's why, you know, I stopped making content and stuff like that. But... When I tweeted that, the point I was making was that I think it is, you know, distasteful for men to actively shame women who do porn when they consume it. Now my stance on it would be that porn is an addiction. I don't think young men should be watching it. I don't think that. Yeah, but, but I don't understand how that relates. What if they're watching it, but they're still criticizing? the women who are in it, this would be the exact same concept as the heroin addict The heroin addict concept the doesn't even make sense. Why? Because in this con- in the corn situation, the person is the product, mm-hmm. yeah. and in the heroin situation, the dealer is not the product, the heroin's the product, so it's not the same. No, I, I think uh, it is I, a similar wait, analogy. On, I think on, it does I'm make sense. Super, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
I, I, let's uh, let's back up and let's just see if we can make sure if this tracks or it doesn't track. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, so, but just. Yeah, I just I just want to make sure if this tracks or doesn't track. Uh, so your your idea here is that you must be the thing. So this is just a basic argument from hypocrisy that she's making. She's saying uh, that if you're, for instance, fat, you can't criticize fat people, right? Uh, things like this. But it has the reason that an argument from hypocrisy is fallacious is because it doesn't make any sense. If you're a fat person, and you tell a fat person that they would be a lot healthier if they weren't fat. You would be correct, right? So what's and, and uh, you would be correct. <laughs> so you, uh, just tangling with it by saying, well, it's hypocritical doesn't mean anything. right? Well, doesn't I didn't I didn't say it was uh, hypocritical in the tweet. I said it was interesting. And then I said my stance on it now is that I do believe that well, it's what an makes addiction. it interesting. Well, but back then, when I was active on OnlyFans and stuff, I was more pro sex work. So I had more of the, oh, well, if you're enjoying watching it and you're paying for it and stuff, why are you coming on here and, you know, slut Yeah, because you would be like a hypocrite, that. right? Yeah, but I think it, yeah, I would be also, when I say it's interesting, right. I'm interested to hear what men have to say about it, not just to say men shouldn't think that. It, I would just be more interested to hear why men think that way. No, but I as I've gotten older, I do I believe that it's an addiction. I'm, yeah. Yep, I get it. I understand your stance. I'm not even objecting to the stance. I'm just saying that um, when uh, Chair One says, uh, Kybra says, well, wait a second. No, it's not. You can't, you can't make this comparison because in one, the woman is the product and the other, there's an external product. It doesn't matter because the intent of the pusher is the same, whether they're the product or not the product. It's totally irrelevant. Both criticisms are just an argument from hypocrisy. Both okay. of them. So it's easy enough to just say, okay, but here's why that's, uh, that's faux reasoning. You shouldn't reason that way because it leads to bad conclusions, essentially. Okay, thank you. I have a question. So if there's a demand, why are you criticizing? I'm sorry, I have to move things on. Next tweet. <laughs> Why don't I have you read it, Ruby? It's your tweet, go ahead. Okay, question for you high value men. Would you rather have a girl who has a high body count or a very low body count but has an OnlyFans? Andrew, what's your answer to this? Um, hmm. Who has a low body count but has an OnlyFans? Yeah, That's so. The yeah, would you rather... Or, ha or has a high body count? I just want to make sure... Yes, yeah, so someone with a high body count, so say someone who slept with, like, I don't know, 50 people or something, but mm -hmm. has never made OnlyFans content, or someone who slept with two people, but has made OnlyFans content. Okay, then, yeah, I would take the one who has made OnlyFans content with the lower body count if I had to choose between the two. Mm -hmm. I think I'd tend to agree if I had to choose between the two. Let's do the next tweet. I think, <laughs> I'm going to say it, I think men prefer little titties. Okay, next. Next. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know. Okay, next. <laughs> if men hate girls who do porn so much, then stop watching it and put them out of a job. Simple. Okay, next. We already talked about that. If you're one of those people who calls trans girls men boys, then you can go ahead and unfollow me. Oh, my God. Oh, I should have you read them, but whatever. Um, mm. So you mean, like, intentionally... What's the term? Misgendering or whatever? I think it's <clears throat> unreasonable. Say if there was a trans person sat at this table and it was a trans woman and she looked like a woman, I think it would be really socially unreasonable mm. to just say he, him for, like, no reason. Politically, I think it's different, but socially, I don't... Yeah, so if, if we just say that, if we even grant that it would be uh, rude, let's actually just talk about kind of the more core underlying thing here. Uh, is it a male or a female? What? So if a... It's Trans a male. Transgender... Hold on, the question is for mm. her. Transgender woman, is it a male or a female? Or are they... A male or a female? Do you mean, like, legally? Like, in the eyes of the law, then yes. I don't care what the law has to say. Yeah, you are what you're born. 
So biologically. Oh, biologically, you mean yeah, it yeah. By like the person or like go. Po- I I got confused by the it. What do you mean? Like when you said, is it male or female? Did you mean like is the trans person well, a male or female, or are okay. there parts she's, private she's or to, male? I, yeah, I, I, didn't I get misspoke. It. I meant. Okay. I mean, no, I don't no, know. No, if hang on. Actually, he spoke correctly. You wouldn't even oh. correct this. This it wouldn't actually even make any sense to correct Brian on this if you're un you you don't know what a thing is. It is referenced as it because you don't know what it is. So it's totally correct inside of the language that we speak to reference something if you don't know what it is to say it because you don't well, know yeah, what she, it is. But I was she was trying to cancel clar- me. She like, was trying to cancel me because I... No, no. I actually still have the clarifying question. You, you want me to define like, it? No. Like when you asked her, is it female or male? Were you asking Wait, about the on. person or if body If somebody part? has a child, if somebody has a child, you're like, mm-hmm. oh, is it a boy or a girl? It yeah, is yeah. totally say, acceptable. Exactly. It is totally acceptable. I didn't acceptable. say you can't say it. I just said, what did you mean No, by you're trying it? to like get me like, oh, no, that's I'm really not. Exactly that. Are he you talking about is this person up. male or female or are there body parts male or female? Like which one was your question? Uh, now you're shifting the goalposts. You were, that's you're literally what I said just play it back your written no your original grievance was about the use of the word it because that like I need a clarification because that confused me are you saying is this person a male is it a boy or a girl in reference to a baby it's you just said in reference to a baby so in reference to what when you asked her that in reference to what? That's exactly my question. Uh, okay, a person. It would okay, be the that's same it. Thing. Is, Thank is you. It that was so girl? easy. You, you don't know. He didn't right? talk about know. dogs. He talks about human being, of course. I wasn't sure if he was maybe referring to like body parts or what. What? Okay. Because what? Why would you ask <sighs> that? Mm. Okay, so transgender woman, male or female? Are you asking me now? Yep. Biologically. Mm. Male. I'm. I'm. Only, when I'm thinking, I'm not thinking because I don't know the answer. I'm thinking because I'm confused. Because we're saying man when we mean woman, and woman when we mean man. And I think, yeah. So, I think you mm. are biologically what you are. But I also do believe socially that it, it's unnecessary to, if someone fits into, if if someone just comes in here looking like a girl, I'm not going to say, well, are you really a girl? Like, I. It's unnecessary in my opinion. Yeah, perhaps. But if having like a conversation about mm. what's intellectually true. No, I, I, that's another I, conversation. I, I agree. That's totally different. Hmm. Okay. Well, I actually want to talk about dating related to this. So, um, would you object to a man who uh, refused? Would you object if a man refused to date a transgender woman? Would I object? Yeah. Do you think that's objectionable or? I think you should be able to date whoever you want. Okay. So if he just, I would not date a trans woman. No, no quarrel, no objections. Yeah, that's, okay. yeah. Specifically for the reason that they're a trans woman is what is the, the audio is asking. Is the audio full? Okay. What about you? Same. I wouldn't re- object. They can just do whatever they like and want. Date Perfect. whoever they love. Sure. So you're fine with it. Yeah, that's their choice. Okay. I mean, yeah, really, truly. Yeah, it's fine. It's just a sexual yeah. preference. Yeah. <laughs> I would object. You would object? Yeah. Why is that? Um, because. That's kind of like them being like bisexual and right. Like if they, sure. like you're saying, like if my boyfriend wanted to date a transgender person. No, no. Or like a random man, I think. Oh, a random man. Yeah. Oh, right? I still wouldn't date them if they wanted to. Date you someone. definitely did not listen to the question at all. Let me <laughs> repeat it. Do you? Would you object if a man did not want to date a trans oh. woman? No, I wouldn't. Okay. Object. No, I wouldn't object. No, I think people are allowed to have preferences. I agree, no. Well, it's not that I object. I just think it's a man dressed up like a woman. It's not a, wom- it's not a woman. If, and if a man, a regular man call himself straight and date them, I think he's just as delusional and off a little bit, just like the other person who thinks he's a different gender. All right, let me ask a follow-up question then. Uh, is it straight as a... Is it straight for a man to date a trans woman? Yes. Okay. No, I actually would call that pansexual. Okay, so not straight. No, it's not straight, but it's not gay either because gay men wouldn't go for trans women. I think it's its own sexuality, something niche. Okay. Not straight. He's gay. (laughs) Not straight. Not straight. Not straight. 
Uh, wait, so you said yes straight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, question for you really quick, and then we can't linger on this for too long. Yeah. Uh, so, homosexual means same sex, right? Uh, yeah. So when we say homosexual, it means same sex relationship. Yeah. And you would agree that trans women have not changed their sex, correct? Um, I don't know enough about the topic. They change their, to them, they change their gender, right? Um, not their sex, though. They're still male. Uh, sure. I don't know. Exactly. Okay. Maybe it's, are you trying to get me to say it's not straight? Well, I'm just, I mean, so straight is short form slang for heterosexual. Oh, okay. So, if you have a male dating a male, would you agree that that's a homosexual relationship? Yeah. Okay. It couldn't be ever a heterosexual relationship because yeah. they're both male, right? I'm not, I'm not married to the concept that it's straight. I don't even actually know enough about this. It's kind of okay, just whatever that's fine. you want it to uh, be. Let's do the next tweet. Uh, can you just read these, please? <laughs> Why is it that so many men share the same irrational fear of being used for money that they don't have? It's an interesting... I've heard this before. Like, they're scared of being gold dug, but they don't... They don't got well, gold. It's, it's simple. It's just, it's just wait, based around whoa, potentiality. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. What happened to the audio? Did you... Because it's scuffed? I was in this <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh, okay. I think... I do feel like that's in a very similar realm to Andrew's to where tweet about, uh, that we referred to earlier. Yeah, the, uh, the answer bad. to this is pretty... It's still bad. No, no okay. sorry. Go ahead. Keep talking, Andrew. Oh. Um, well, the answer to this is pretty simple. It's the, the idea is that uh, most people get married young, right? Or at least they used to. Now the average age is 30, but... If you're with a person, uh, especially in your 20s, it's going to be assumed that the man doesn't have very much in the way of resources, and they're generally married on resource potentiality. And so the, the idea here is that, okay, they accumulate a ton of resources, and then they get taken to the divorce court ringer, uh, so they're still afraid that even if they don't currently have any resources, that marrying a gold digger... Um, they would still look at the potential of, uh, of outcome of resources and take them, take them to the cleaner for it, right? Wow. Hmm. That's very insightful. Okay, next, I guess. No objections. All right. yeah. Can you read these, please? Oh, okay. Controversial opinion, but men need to work on themselves instead of expecting women to lower their expectations. I can bet you almost anything that, m that the majority of these men do not have a lot of the following. Fit body from regular gym, eating healthy, having a job where he works hard, having good manners, and having good social skills. I'm talking specifically about, you know, the kind of men that will, you know, be on Reddit, like really hating women, like incels and stuff. I'm not talking about general, you know, nice men that are just nice. Can you pull it back up really quick? Uh, men need to work on themselves instead of expecting women to... Okay, so you're talking about incels. I'm talking about men who complain about women's standards being too high. Are they wrong? Well, it depends if, if the mm. woman's standards are too high. Austin, you know that photo that with the list that we've been meaning to pull up? Uh, check. It's like that woman in the restaurant and there's, she's got like a list. Okay. I'm just curious. You tell me this, this, so this is what this woman wants. 5'11 plus, responds to text in under two hours, pays for dinner, makes a plan liberal but can lift heavy things, so physically fit. What? Also, she, just to be clear, pays for dinner, so she wants a provider, but she also wants a progressive liberal man, mm -hmm. AKA she's a feminist, what? AKA she's not traditional, but she's demanding mm -hmm. traditional treatment, okay. has a passport, pretends to listen when I talk about Taylor Swift, guys don't want to do that shit, and also six-figure salary. Uh, I think it's, what, 15% of men, or I don't know the exact numbers, what the breakdown is in terms of salary, but she wants a guy who makes over $100,000 a year. And Austin, can you zoom in a little bit? Like make it big, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and then scroll down to her. 
mention, note, she wanted a physically fit man, but scroll in on the arm. Hmm. Hmm. Funny. Funny in it. Um, funny. Uh, maybe she wants a guy to lead uh, her to a healthy so, lifestyle. I mean, are her expectations too high? She's an average looking overweight woman. Yeah, I would say so. And I would say the, average, the list say. that she has there is different from the list in the other tweet, which was like, do you have a job? Oh, are you nice? Wait, there was a, you know. Yo, you were, wait, you were responding to a tweet? No, I wasn't responding oh, to her tweet, okay. no. No, no, you were no. responding to a tweet. No, 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 I wasn't. Oh, okay. It just seems to me like a lot of women want a six foot guy, 100,000 a year. But it doesn't say Correct. any. I didn't say that. I've never said that. Okay, but that's th those are the complaints that men are having when it comes to their per perception of women ha having high expectations. You want a guy who's six foot, makes this is this much money, funny, charismatic, nice. All these like all these million traits. Just mm -hmm. like, okay, you want a guy who's six foot. That's only fifteen percent of men. You've just excluded eighty-five percent of men. My boyfriend's just based not on six height. foot. I'm not saying I'm not talking about you. I'm yeah. saying in general, a lot of women want a tall guy. I think those are pretty pretty bad values, in my opinion. Sure. Okay. Just like listing them out like that. That's not like what I look for. I think it's actually um, it is. Wait, it's not what you look for, like height and all that stuff. No. Okay. How tall? How tall was your last boyfriend? Um, I think he's like six, two. Six two. Yeah. Oh, so like, that's the one that you broke up with three months ago. He broke up with me. But you dated yeah, him as yeah. recently as three months ago. Yeah. But he was six two, which is four inches taller than the average male height, and also is like th two or three percent of men. But okay, your two point five year relationship. How tall was he? Um, I think he was around maybe around that height. Six two. Like six well, one, six foot. Well, women say they don't care about these things, but conveniently, how tall are you? I'm 5'8". Okay, conveniently, the two relationships that you've disclosed <laughs> on this panel, yeah, they happen to be tall. I mean, so... Um, the guy before that, that was the same height as me. No, okay, sure, but, that's um, fine. I was just saying, like, those don't seem like very good values. I feel like when you're looking for a partner, your number one thing, or like, I'll just speak for myself, it's like, do I like who I am around this person? Do they inspire me to be a better person? It's like, it's that kind of thing. That's fair. Well, I don't know how you get around attraction, though. Oh, yeah, so. no, attraction is real, too, but it's attraction and Yeah, but it's I mean, and. so women are going to be attracted to taller men, right? So it's like, it's not really a detriment in value for women to say I'm attracted to tall men. I don't know that anybody would really object to that because attraction is a thing which uh, which all relationships start with, right? There has to be some kind of some kind of attraction there. There might be some outlier relationships where you know they all they care about is emotions, but physical attraction seems to be a key pinnacle foundation for most relationships between.